Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Multi Force. Today I'm here with Zytrix and he's the designer behind our newest build, the Airbus A400M Atlas. Now this is a turboprop military tactical airlifter used by uh, several air forces. This is in the Royal Air Force delivery and it's also used by Germany, France, Spain. So the size of the A400M is between the sizes of a C-17 Globemaster III and a C-130 Hercules. And I actually did get the chance to see this in real life. It's actually pretty big. Uh, when the Royal Air Force, they came with the Red Arrows at the New York International Air Show. And uh, the special thing about this build is like, it's the first time we're introducing uh, this walkable, like, um, I guess a door that pops out. And there is a little bit of an interior and I won't be showing you how to build this, but I'll just show you what it looks like, what Zytrix did. For the interior, just in case you want to build it, you can do it for yourself. I am just doing the exterior. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the build. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button down below and let's get started. So we're going to begin making one half of the aircraft at a time. So we're going to start off uh, by placing this light gray concrete block, two blocks wide and 37 blocks long. And it is three blocks above the ground like this. So you'll have like two gaps of air between that and the floor. So once we're done with that, we can go uh, back to the front and we're going to add an additional two light gray concretes here. Dear right wall, two blocks here, two blocks tall like that, black concrete on the bottom. Another brick wall on the side of it. On top, we're going to add in three nether brick blocks. Then we're going to take polish um, and a site, make it two blocks long here, go diagonally, make another two blocks like that. Then on top, we're going to add in uh, these two diagonal light gray concrete blocks. And then we're going to go diagonally outwards and add another two, like so. And then we're going to go up here, add another one L like that. Go diagonally, add another one here at the top. Now in the front, we're going to take out polished andesite stairs, place one here. And then right below that stairs, underneath the stairs, we're going to add three black concrete blocks. And then one at the tip. Nether brick stairs on top, nether brick slab on the bottom. Now go to the side here, add another brick slab here, black concrete on top, nether brick wall on top of that. And then right behind, we're going to fill that in with light gray concrete. All right, then we're going to add in uh, this wither skeleton skull on top of the wall, face it towards uh, the back. And then we're going to add another, uh, another brick wall here. So next we're going to add stone brick wall in between these two blocks and go right above and add another two here. Add a light gray concrete in this nook. And then behind it we're going to make it four blocks tall. All right, and at the top we're going to extend it by one and add a polished andesite slab to the side of it. Then underneath that slab we're going to add light gray another slab underneath. Behind it, we're going to add in uh, two light grays, like so. Then we're going to add light gray in this corner here with a case button on the side of that. Then we're going to add polished andesite underneath here. And let's take dark oak button, add one here. And another one on the very top of that layer. Below that, we're going to add a birch sign. And then two birch buttons on the side. Take out light gray, we're going to make three blocks tall here, like so. And then we're going to make it a three by three, so extend that by two. Then we're going to add trip wire hook here, dark oak button underneath. Take out iron trap door, add one top, bottom, and bottom of this as well. Take out uh, polished andesite slab. Nine blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then add light gray concrete. Four blocks long. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now to the side of this, we're going to add two polished andesite slabs like that. 
back to the front, take out um, light gray concrete, and we're going to extend it, so three blocks like that. Take out polish and a site slab. We're going to add two blocks here. Light gray concrete behind it. And then polish and a site blocks. We're going to make it two blocks tall. So one and then two. Take out light gray concrete again. Uh, make it go one block past it. So I guess like four blocks on top of this. So one, two, three, four. Polish and a site slab. We're going to add two blocks here. Behind it, we're going to add an L shape of light gray concrete. On the very top, we're going to extend that by one. Add black concrete, two blocks long here. Another brick wall. Two more black concretes. And another one right here in the middle. Black stained glass panes, two blocks long or two blocks wide in the front. Polish and a site slab. Add it right on top of the middle, diagonal, another one here, and another two here. Add light gray concrete on the inside of this, like so. Then go back to this side, add light gray concrete here, iron trap door on top. Behind that trap door, we're going to add three polished inner slabs. And then a uh, oak slab, which is going to be just one block. Now to the outer edge of this, we're going to add polish andesite slabs, two blocks like that. Then we're going to get two by two polish andesite slabs. Then there's going to be an andesite stairs right here in the middle. And andesite slab on the side of that. Two more polish andesites, then smooth stone slabs, two blocks long. Polish and site to the side of that. And then it looks to be six blocks or seven blocks long of polish and site. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then to the side of that, there's going to be two oak slabs that fill in the rest here. Polish and site. All right, then we're going to go to that part right after that smooth stone and extend that by one on the side. Now we're going to take out light gray concrete. We're going to make this part 18 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, and then we're going to make it two blocks wide. Extend the rest out. Then in the back part, we're going to make it go diagonally two blocks. So diagonally two blocks like that. And then we're going to make it go all the way back to the rest of the light gray concrete that we already started. Like so. Then we're going to delete this block here and place three polished andesite slabs, two iron trap doors. Take out smooth stone block, add three blocks here. So replace that block that we replace like so. Go right underneath this trap door, we're going to add two yellow concretes go down outwards and add three then back inwards and this is going to be two then take out light gray concrete and we're going to make a two by two here then the inside portion of this we're going to add two light grays and then five black concrete so one two three four and five uh, iron trap door right here before and after that black concrete in between we're going to add uh, dark oak trap doors all the way across we're going to add um, polished andesite slab here iron trap door in the front of it and the row below it we're going to fill that in a light gray across like so Next, we're going to make a 3x6 of light gray. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Extend the rest out. Then we're going to pop a hole right here and replace it with um, polished andesite stairs facing the back. Go right to the tip. We're going to add another light gray right there. And behind it, we're going to fill in this hole um, on the top two layers with light gray. Like so. 
and and the layer right here just fill in another two right there as well as the layer below it just fill that in like gray all the way across then we're going to add stone brick wall four blocks long here and then diagonally another four the bottom we're going to add stone brick wall here and then red nether brick wall there and then spruce uh, fence gate open that up then another brick wall there and let's add in dark oak button at the bottom like so and underneath that we're going to add an iron trap door right there add a dragon head right above this stone brick wall going to face inwards go right down below where the this door is going to be and add a lever right there in the middle of the aircraft and you want to make sure it's facing the back and then we're going to skip four blocks at one two three four and add another lever face it towards the front and add an acacia button underneath it next we'll move on towards the back area take out polish and a site uh, slab we're going to make a two by two go diagonally up and add another two by two of light gray then behind it we're going to add two polish andesite slabs actually two by two polish andesite slabs and then we up another two light grays and then two polish andesite slabs and then nether brick slabs like so dialing up two light grays uh, looks to be a two by two polish andesite then two light grays and I think that's might be and maybe not maybe like it's just like an L shape polish in a site like that. And then be like above it, there's going to be an L shape of light gray. And then two polish in a site slabs like that. Dialing outwards, two light grays like that. Then dialing outwards towards the back, another light gray here. Then two polish in a site slabs. Dialing up. Uh, light grays and we can extend this light gray all the way back to the front so extend that all the way across so it matches up with the front and back over here actually we're gonna delete these four blocks once we reach this angle here so one two three four and we're gonna make um, polish in a site slab before and after and the middle parts could be two oak slabs and the outer edge is like a two block wide like a two by four polish and site like that next go on the other side l shape polish and site here three daylight detectors all blue four polish and site slabs and then one in this corner light gray concrete um, just pretty much fill all this in like gray like so all right then we're gonna go back to the tail area we're gonna add in sort of like a L shape of polish and a site slab like that in the front we're gonna add three blocks tall like gray dialing up another three dialing up another three dialing up four add and a site wall behind it and then L shape light gray and a site wall on top and then we're going to add uh, looks to be six light gray so one two three four five six and let's add iron trap door going to be five blocks long here so one two three four five polish and a site five blocks long one two three four five that's going to be the slabs front daylight detector make it blue add a light gray underneath stone brick wall in the front light gray underneath stone brick wall and then light gray underneath the daylight detector all the way back down to the bottom all right so it's all gonna go down right there then we're gonna go underneath the wall skip three so one two three add three here Dialing and add another three. One, two, three. Dialing, add another three. And then we'll pretty much fill all of this tail in with light gray. Once that's filled in, we're to go to this angle here. 
go one block in, delete these two blocks here, red on top, concrete, blue concrete on the bottom. Then we're going to go up here to the side, add stone brick wall here, uh, two smooth stone blocks, definitely another one. Inside part, we're going to fill that in two light grays, and then another two light grays facing the other direction. Uh, go diagonally, another two. Diagonally, another two. Then we're going to go diagonally, add three here. Then we're going to go diagonally back the other direction, add two. Diagonally back, add one. Diagonally back and add another one here. And then it goes back to the tail. Then fill this in with light gray. Once you filled it in, it should look like this. Go down below. So then we're going to go to the tail, add polish and anisite slabs, two blocks here. Then three light grays at the bottom. Cobblestone slab sticking out here and another one underneath. Then on top we're going to add, um, make this part two blocks long. Then black concrete, nether brick wall sticking out. Then two blocks wide of polished andesite slabs. And we're going to make this five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. Fifth one, we're going to stick it out and add a slab underneath. Then we're going to add four, so this is going to be four in total, so one, two, three, four. And then fill all the rest in. Then we're going to go diagonally, add two. Then diagonally, and add one. Then we're going to add three right here in the middle. Right, and then the front of that, there's going to be a lever. Uh, it's going to face the front, I guess, and add another lever right over here in the front of that. Then we're going to take out um, light gray, add it right behind the slab all the way across. And then we can fill in this middle section in with a uh, light gray, keep falling like so. All right, good. And then we're going to work um, behind this slab here. Just go all the way across to that other slab. And let's add polish and a slight slab right here. And uh, another polish and a slight slab, just skip block, add one here. Then we're gonna add light gray from this slab all the way to the other slab. And then um, let's add light gray 11 blocks here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then we're gonna skip a block here and add a slab. Add light gray all the way across to the other side. And then go back over here and this, actually this one's supposed to be two blocks long, like that. And then we're gonna skip a block here, add another two slabs. And then extend the light grays. And then skip one, another two. And uh, right above this part, we need to add in dark oak signs. So just add in two right above those slabs. And then for the next layer, we're going to add in two more light grays like that. And then go underneath a polish andesite slab two blocks long with a polish andesite stairs facing the back like that. And then we're going to add in light gray. Uh, on the very top like so. Let's go back over here and let's give a block here, add a slab, extend the light gray behind the other slabs. And then we're going to skip a block here, add another slab here, extend the light grays again. And then we'll skip a block and add this time it's going to be two um, polish andesite like that. And then we're going to add light gray all the way across. And then we're gonna skip block and add two light to these slabs and then light gray all the way across again. Like that. Alright, so it's another two slabs like that, and then we're gonna add in five uh, light grays. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna skip these three light grays and add two slabs down there. Then we're gonna go to the back and add like so this is like a two by two right there. And then also make this layer two by two. I thought it was an L by mistake. All right, so once we're done with that, let's go back over here. Take out light gray concrete, and you see these two top layers. We're gonna extend that all the way 
so it matches with the yellow so that is pretty easy to do just extend it out go really fast with it like so then we're going to make a 3x3 three three of light gray here alright and then we'll add in a slab underneath here and then a double wall right here at the bottom and then another one on top looks like this let's add dark oak button to the bottom one then we're going to go on top we're going to add three stone brick walls here go daggly add another three daggly and add another three then a polish and a saint stairs facing the front then we're going to go back over here add in four light gray concrete, so one, two, three, four. Uh, polish andesite stairs, and then light gray concrete, extend that all the way across. And then we'll go on top of this portion here, fill in these two rows in with light gray concrete all the way to that yellow. Extend the other side, the same thing. Next, we're to go to that yellow stripe, add oak slab to the side of it, oak trap door underneath and then light gray concrete make it four blocks long after the slab two stone brick walls here oak button in the front of that right there A iron trap door two blocks long on top here then two polished andesite stairs like that light gray concrete on the inner wall right here and then we're going to go to the back portion here and let's add in um, a stairs polish andesite stairs uh, right side up underneath this door and let's add a slab in front of that and add in four light grays in the front of that so one two three four add two stone brick walls here two iron trap doors here two uh, slabs right there and then light gray and then we'd extend that to meet up with the other one cross like so and then the inner wall here we're gonna fill that in with light gray as well as well as the parts with uh, all this um, stone brick walls like that so they just fill all that in like so and then we're to connect these two parts together with light gray so extend them all the way across like that then we're going to go underneath this part add an iron trap door here and five of these slabs in front of it then we're going to go to the front skip a block here and add two slabs like that now like this middle portion here we're going to fill all this in with light gray concrete all the way across the whole bottom area So it looks like this. Then we're going to go to the top and we're going to add two iron trap doors here. And then six of these slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then two more trap doors. Then we're going to go right behind this slab and add a two by two of nether brick wheels. Like that. Skip a block and add another pair here. Oh, and then another one here. And I'm saying pair because there's going to be six of these wheels. So skip a block and add the other side right here, just another pair, just the other side of the pair, I guess. That's what you would say. And once we're done with that, we're gonna add birch fence gates uh, in between the middle on the bottoms and the back of the wheels. Now in between the wheels, we're gonna add deer right walls and then they're all pretty much gonna connect together all the way across like so. Then add polished andesite slabs to the sides of the wheels all the way across. And then we're going to go to the back and add uh, two slabs right there. In the front, there's going to be diagonally uh, four slabs. So one, two, three, four. Then diagonally, we're going to add three. So one, two, three. And then for this side, just uh, fill in this middle part with the slabs all the way across like so. Then we're going to take stone brick walls and add it to this outer edge of these wheels all the way across. 
And then we're going to go up here, take out dark oak bun, and add a pair right here to the side. Then go back to the front and add another iron trap door in that little nook. Go back to where we placed the buttons and add, well, skip a block of space, and add um, polish and a site a slab. We're going to make an L shape like that. And make this outer part three blocks long. And then we're going to go diagonally and add four. So one, two, three, four. Diagonally back and add three. So one, two, three. Diagonally back and add one. Fill in all the in between spaces that the slabs cross, like so. Next, we're going to go to the back and the tail and add a smooth stone slab right here diagonally. Diagonally and add two. Diagonally add one. Diagonally add one. Diagonally add two. Diagonally add one. Diagonally add one. Diagonally add two. Then diagonally add one. Diagonally add one. Diagonally add one. So it looks like this. Then we take polish in a site. Add two slabs here. And uh, add, make this part six slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna go diagonally inwards. Add a slab. This part's gonna be five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. Diagonally inwards. Add that slab. Should be uh, four blocks long here. Then we're gonna fill all the middle in with these uh, polish and site slabs. Once we're done, it should look like this. Then we're gonna go back to our wing area the main wing and we'd go diagonally to this take smooth stone uh, diagonally and add two diagonally and add another two diagonally and add another two and we should have three of these and then another one diagonally next to that we're going to uh, make a smooth stone slab like that and two of them underneath like so then we'd go diagonally and add another two and then we want to make an upper part and a lower part of that and diagonally add another two diagonally and add another two and diagonally and add two on the bottom but one on the top like that diagonally and add two diagonally add two diagonally add two then we're going to go diagonally and add one here and then two right down there at the bottom. Then there will be diagonally the other direction, two blocks. And then diagonally back again, three blocks. So three like that. Now behind in this portion, we'll take polish and sight. And we're gonna make it three blocks long here. Then we're gonna go diagonally and add two here. Then add one here, and then make it from this row all the way across to the front, and then fill the rest in polish and the site slabs, like that. Then we're gonna go back to the fuselage in the back area, skip this block here, add stone brick wall there, and a site block, seven blocks long, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Diagonally add light gray, add one here, diagonally and add two light grays, then diagonally and add three light grays. And then diagonally back one. And you see like this middle part, we're just gonna fill that in with light grays all the way across. Then we're gonna add anisite slab, one here. Make it two blocks long like that. And this part here is gonna be five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, go back. Add that slab here, make it four long here. Then we're gonna go down and add a stone uh, slab. We're gonna make it three blocks long, like so. Then we're gonna take polish and a site slab and go diagonally up from that uh, stone slab, then go all the way across to that front area. Like so, and then to the side of this, we're gonna add two slabs here and then two by two at the corner right there, and then fill all this middle in with the polish and the site slabs. So it should look like this. Then we'll add an iron trap door here. And then we're gonna skip three blocks here, add 
these two stone slabs like that, iron trap door on the outer edge. Skip another three. Uh, the two stone slabs, uh, iron trap door again. Skip three again. The two stone slabs, iron trap door again like that. Then we're gonna go back underneath here and we're gonna make this like three solid stone blocks and then the stone slab here. Go to the next part here, we're gonna make uh, four stone blocks like that. Go to the next place, make four stone blocks like that. Next place, four stone blocks. And actually this one right here, we're gonna move that back a little bit. So it's like four right after that trap door. And we're gonna go back on top, take polish and a sight. Uh, we're gonna make a row across all the way here like that just before that hole here and then we're going to add two here and then fill in this part uh, let's add in three like that and then we'll fill in the rest of this gap in with polish and site slabs so it looks like this now we're going to go underneath again and add an iron trap door right next to this still in slab then we're going to add two polish and site slabs here and then four polished andesite blocks in front of that, and then two down below here. And then go back over here to this side, take polished andesite slab, and we're gonna add two of them right here. And then we're gonna make a two by four of light gray concrete, like so. All right, so once we're done with that, we're gonna go to our last, the outermost uh, pylon right over here. And then go into the inner part of it, just uh, skip a block away and add light gray concrete here. Make it six blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. And we're gonna add a stone block right there. And uh, make this a uh, smooth stone block right there. Then go back over here, take out polish and a uh, slab, add two. Then four polish and site blocks, and then two down here. From that, we're gonna make it two by four of light gray. Then we're gonna add in uh, spruce fence gate, open that up. And that is gonna line up with that smooth stone block. Go to our other engine, do the same thing over there. So we'll open that up. All right, so pretty much from now on, I'm just gonna show you how to build one engine since they're both symmetrical and the exact same thing. So I'll show you this only one time. So we're gonna get started by placing two polished andesite slabs here. Daylight detector in the front, make it blue. Iron trap door in front of that. And we'll add two light grays right there. Black wool down here. And then a polished andesite underneath. Then we're gonna add in three iron trap doors like so. And to the side of this, we'll add in stone brick wall right underneath that fence gate, five blocks long. Top row, three blocks long here, and then another spruce fence gate. Open that up. And it's gonna be the same thing on the other side. Like that, add in our stone brick walls, like so. Then we're gonna go to the back part add in an iron trap door here, um, polish into sight slab, one on top, one on the bottom, and then iron trap doors, one on top, one on the bottom again like that. Now we're gonna go to the front and add two black concretes, another brick wall in the front of that. On top, we're gonna add uh, another brick stairs, we're gonna face that direction, and then we'd have the stairs on the other side facing towards that middle stairs. And then we're gonna go to side, add stairs here. Go to side, add stairs upside down there. And then the bottom, we're gonna add two stairs facing this way and then one stairs facing the other direction like that. And then we'll add another brick wall on top and on the bottom. Then we'll add in um, the smooth sandstone stairs upside down on the very top. And then right side up on the bottom half like that. And then we'll add diagonal to this one, another upside down 
sandstone stairs right there and then dialing up from this one here like that and then same thing on the other side just the reflected image and I hope I actually never mind it is not take that back it's just in a clockwise formation I guess this one right here is gonna be right side up all right so and then on the sides we're gonna add another brick slab here and then a smooth sandstone slab is gonna go dip down a slab and then the other sides kind of like the opposite direction this one goes upwards should look like this so once you get this finished uh, just copy it on the other one so there's the second engine now we're going to go to the back and a site slabs and you see this part this outline that we already made uh, we're just gonna make this like a solid block so I guess like another slab underneath that so it's uh, areas like that so after we do that go to the front and you'll see um, this part right here we're gonna add another smooth sandstone or not smooth sand, smooth stone slab right there definitely polished in a site uh, slab now you see this portion right here uh, portion <laughs> I mean uh, you see this is where it starts all of this underneath and this part it's like a giant hole and we're pretty much gonna fill that in with polish uh, and a site slabs Alright, so it should look like this underneath. So then we're going to go back over here underneath uh, this section. I'm going to fill in this hole with light gray. And you see behind the stairs, we want to make that polish in a site block like that. Alright, so now we're done with this half and you have to flip it off to the other side. So once you have both sides, it should look like this. Now we're not quite finished yet. We still have a couple things to do. So on this side, what we're going to do go right to where this light gray is and add in cobblestone wall and we're going to make it so it is five blocks long so one two three four and five then we're going to add in three stone bricks uh, walls and then at the very tip a dark oak fence gate and then end rod so we have that and behind it we're going to take a uh, polish and a site uh, stairs add one right here and this is gonna go extend one block uh, actually right on top of where that iron trap door used to be so just add that on the very top of it then we're gonna go underneath add in a dark oak fence gate here and stone brick walls on either side of it like so and for this side we are in fact going to open up the doors so we're going to go right over here where this door is and delete this block in the middle and those two blocks as well as this thing and then we're going to go delete this block as well and replace it with um, polish and a site stairs and we're going to have another one diagonally down from that and then in front diagonally we're going to add polish and a site um, slab like that then we're going to replace these slabs on the sides with quartz uh, slabs like that and two block tall stone brick walls on either side and dark oak fence gates uh, in front of the walls and they're going to open up facing towards that slab like so. Alright so next we're going to add a little bit of an end here because this is going to be awkward if it's just empty like that so go inside and add in red nether brick wall two by three here polish to your right add wall here surrounding that wall then go back over here make a two by four polish, polish to your right and then four blocks tall of acacia fence gates that are all opened up and then end rods uh, four blocks tall next to it and they are stacked like that and then next to it we're going to add in three to your right 
walls like that. Polish your right on top. And it's going to be four blocks wide like that. And that is pretty much it for my interior. It's not like much. Uh, it's just enough so that if you see that hole, it won't be like super weird and empty inside. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, anyways, if you guys want to like actually build the entire interior, you can follow the beginning of the video. I believe I showed it. So that's pretty much it on how to build the Airbus Atlas A400M in Minecraft. And thanks to Zytrix for his original design. This is his design, not mine. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, remember to hit that like button down below. And subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.